Hey you guys, what's up, what's up? So today's video is going to be sponsored by Ruyu Hair. I hope this is how you pronounce it. If not, then I do apologize. So you do get an elastic band in the box. Along with that, you get one of these really nice wig caps. You can make your own wig. Along with that, a hair tie. And I'm gonna just go ahead and pin my hair up using some hair pins. So before I even get into this tutorial, let me tell you guys, I have worked with this company like three or four times and the wig that they sent me is a 24 inch body wave lace front. And you can definitely visit their AliExpress store. They do offer some really inexpensive wigs. Along with that, they do have an official website as well. But make sure you check them out on AliExpress. I'm pretty sure you'll find some amazing deals on AliExpress as always. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin my two cornrows up and just wash away any type of makeup or oils I have on my hairline. And of course I have to make sure that my patch is on. That's my hormone patch. In case you guys are wondering, I did have surgery back in November for you know having a hysterectomy so yes you guys so if you guys are noticing the color in the picture is actually different I do have new lighting and hopefully it's a lot better than before I'm still getting used to it it's so hard sometimes to edit a video with the lighting so I try my best so I do apologize if any kind of discoloration is in any of my videos you know I am not a pro at this but I can do some hair though so let's get into this so I did brush it back just to get any flyaways out the way and I'm gonna take my handy dandy hot comb and just hot comb through this just so that way I can have the hairline as thin as possible the hot comb that I have is available at Walmart it was 20 bucks and this is the Annie brand there is a temperature control on it I love it I do have another hot comb which doesn't have a temperature control and it honestly does not get as hot so if you're looking for one you can check out Amazon or you can also go to Walmart so I'm gonna take my two hair clips and I'm just going to clip up the hair so that way I can first cut away any excess lace as you guys see me doing right now I do prefer to use small scissors these are curved you can get these at any craft store you can also get them at Walmart and as you see the hairline is thinner because well you know I'm a little bit happy because I got some music playing you know unfortunately you guys can't hear it but trust me it is one of my favorite songs that is playing which is by Nicki Minaj and Nas you know what I'm saying I love that song so much okay but anyway so what I'm doing right now is I'm just actually making sure that the wig fits properly because as you guys see some of that lace is actually falling over my ear and you don't want your ears or you don't want your lace to fall up over your ear because then the wig is not going to fit properly and excuse my little bit of hairy armpits there you know I do need to shave you know life is hectic Trust me, by now, they are shaved. They're definitely shaved. But, you know, hey, we're human. So anyway, as I was saying, you want to make sure that your wig cap, your wig, your actual wig fits properly. So you definitely want to make sure that the lace is not falling over your ears. If the ear tabs are over your ears, then your wig is not going to lay as flat as possible. So you want to make sure you take yourself a nice rat tail comb and just part it directly above your ears. And this step is optional, but trust me, you'll want to do this. This is the part where I make me some sideburns. Honey, listen to me. You don't want no bald edges like, you know, sideburns always look good and I'm just saying, it's just like, you know, you need some sideburns always. I mean, not always, but somewhat. So I just take a little bit out right there and then this portion right here, I'm just going to take out just a little bit of you know hairs around the hair, hairline perimeter and this is just going to be for any type of baby hairs or wispy hairs you know because they're really not baby hairs they're wispy hairs so you know this step is optional too but it also helps camouflage the wig a whole lot so you just want to take that and just take a little bit of hair out I'm not going to use all of these baby hairs or hairs that I remove but I'm taking out just enough so that way whenever I do decide to you know style them I have them ready and available so as for my sideburns, I'm just going to cut the length that I want and I'm just going to be using the Got To Be Glam Force Gel, which I absolutely love. You can purchase this at Ulta for $4.99. If you purchase it anywhere else, like online, like say Amazon, then honey, you're going to be paying like at least $10 and more. So I would definitely suggest checking out Ulta. You can go in store and online to check it out. Now this hairspray is also the Got To Be, and this is the Volume Maniac. And this is also available at 
um, Ulta. I did purchase a couple of cans of that and I love this hairspray. It does hold very well. I do like, my favorite one out of the got to be is the Glam Force one, which was the matching set to the gel. I like that one because it dries quickly and it gives you a few days hold. Now this one right here, the Volume Maniac, will also give you a hold, but the hold is only going to be for the day, which is perfect for those of you guys who don't want to wear your wig for the entire day, then you can definitely check out the Volume Maniac. It does have a dramatic hold along with that it will give you a nice amount of um, it will give you a nice amount of volume but I really prefer this hairspray especially if you're just going for like a day so all I did was just spray that hairspray onto the lace right behind the hairline of the baby hairs or wispy hairs whatever you want to call them and I'm just going to blow dry them on cool with my blow dryer if you don't have a blow dryer on hand it's okay you can definitely just use the air let it air dry because it dries quickly or you can wrap it up with a scarf and once you're ready you can just get your scissors and cut the baby hairs or your wispy hairs the length that you desire now just to make sure that my baby hairs or wispy hairs sculpt well I'm going to be using the got to be fantastic collagen um, hair styling mousse you don't have to use mousse you can use gel or hairspray whatever your heart desires but I really don't like my wispy hairs or my my hairs in general too hard or crunchy you know what I'm saying and also if you use the gel that I used prior in this video it will leave like a gel residue onto your lace and definitely if you want to take it off at night you don't want any type of messy residue on it so I would really just you know recommend using like a mousse or even a hairspray to sculpt your baby hairs or your wispy hairs so that way you don't have any type of gel residue that will leave you know a mess you'll have to definitely clean that off so using the mousse and hairspray is a lot easier because all you need to do is just take one of your toothbrushes that you ain't using for your teeth girl and just brush it away once you remove the wig so I'm gonna take a little bit of that hairspray again and I'm just going to use a little bit on the baby hairs or the whiskey hairs or whatever you want to call them and I'm just gonna sculpt them in place they're never going to be perfect you know this does take some work but hey it is what it is you know once you get used to making baby hairs or whiskey hairs you'll be like a pro at it so you want to make sure to repeat that step on the opposite side I didn't think you guys really wanted to see that because it's all the same all around so being that I finished styling the hair I'm gonna go ahead and brush into this and you know see how it looks on me we're also going to go ahead and style it so guys it might be a little bit long video but just bear with me and stick through it because you know you love me so much as much as I love you guys so like I was saying the hair is 24 inches I think the density was like either 150 or 180 I cannot remember I think it was 180 and the hair is like a low luster it curls easy it's super duper cheap like the hair the wig is really cheap and that was just the amount that came out once I brushed it now keep in mind it's not all the hair that shed I did pre pluck this unit and I also did bleach it I did forget to mention that so prior to you guys seeing this I did bleach the knots just using a 30 developer along with that I did pre-pluck it and then I just styled it sometimes I'll wash them after pre-plucking but being that it's either straight or body wave I just decided just to leave it and style it so some of the hairs that was removed was actually from me pre-tweezing it so I did use a wax stick in this video as you guys seen it helps with flyaways but it also helps with the parting especially when you want to do the hot comb and for me I like my part to be crisp so I'm just going to just part it a little bit more and go back into hot combing it now girl let me tell y'all y'all want to be extra careful when you hot combing because I have burnt myself quite a few times nothing major but these things this one gets pretty hot and you just want to be extra careful if you don't know how to hot comb your hair I would definitely say get you a mannequin head and hot comb it on the mannequin head before hot combing it onto your own self okay this does take like a lot of work now if you want to hot comb the hair on a mannequin head I would definitely prefer getting like a mannequin block wig making head because they're canvas material and the hot comb won't melt the plastic or anything or the styrofoam so I always say get yourself a nice wig block making head for styling and things of that nature so I'm just gonna continue to hot comb this hair and so I get it to my desired style and we're gonna just take it from there. And 
like I said, it does take a minute to get the baby hairs in place. You know, for me, I need to make sure that they're perfect. Because I have like one of those type of heads where, girl, they look long. I have like a longer head. So I'm very fortunate that being that my head is longer, that I can just put on a lace wig and put it basically further down past my hairline and it still look natural. So I'm really happy about that. Okay. But yeah, doing the baby hairs does take some time. So you want to make sure that, you know, you just keep it up, keep practice. Practice makes perfect. Not everything is going to come out perfect, but you know, keep at it and you'll be fine. So I'm just going to take the hair and I'm just going to, you know, twist it on one side because it is time to style this and prior to styling it I'm just going to put some of that styling mousse back in it and I'm just going to brush it throughout the hair you don't want to saturate it but it will help hold the curls along with that it will also help with any type of flyaways so I love to just apply a little bit of styling mousse prior to curling and I'm just going to take it in sections and wrap it around my wand curler and this wand curler uh, I'm trying to figure out where I got this from I will link it down below for you guys it comes with eight interchangeable wands which I absolutely love I have a couple of these systems so I will definitely link it below for you guys and this one is probably like a half of an inch or a one inch barrel but it does curl really well and once you curl you want to just twist it or, or kind of like twirl it as you're wrapping it around so you want to kind of like twirl the hair as you're wrapping it around the barrel so that way you get like these kind of like beachy waves so I hope it's not going too fast to where you can see my hand movements and I'll show you guys um, or basically I'll just show you guys again throughout the video. I'm definitely gonna just leave it curl I'm gonna curl one side with you guys and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the hairspray on it So you want to take it section it off like so You don't have to use a comb and you want to take your barrel and you kind of look like twist your arm Twist the hair as you're wrapping it around so that way you get like some type of big beachy waves that's the only way I can explain this but you also want to make sure that you're not allowing the curl to drop allow it to kind of like cool air dry from the heat cool off in your hand for about 10 seconds or you can just pin it and as you guys see the one side is done I just felt like you guys didn't want to see all of that on camera and then I'm gonna take my fake because I call it fake fake denim brush I bought this from the Japanese Dollar Tree and with a dollar store and I love it it's a denim brush it's fake I don't really care it does the job it works amazing with curls and you know what I'm saying so this portion right here, I was just giving my hair a little volume and all you want to do is just spray a little hairspray and just blow dry it on cool. But these curls came out nice, girl. Like I'm saying, I'm saying I'm feeling myself in this. I think I look really cute. These curls came out really nice. I like the way they came out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the soon to come video. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All of the information will be down below. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? I love you. Share this video with everybody. Make sure you check out Ruyu down below. And I'll see you guys in a soon to come video. I love you guys. Bye.